Can you remember the first time I came down here, Thomas? I can remember before you came down here, because yeah, well, obviously knowing your mum and dad, <laughs> I knew you were, when you were still coming along. And uh, you're taller than me now. You used to be come up to about <laughs> my waist and the cricket bat came up to my shoulders. <laughs> yeah, that was a while ago though. You remember bowling a few balls for me in the nets? I can remember some little snotty-nosed schoolboy trying to whack me from the nets into the into the creek over there when you're about 11, 12, 13 or... When you come into the club, what memories does it bring back? A uh, fair few childhood memories. Um, I grew up pretty much as my second home down there at the, at the club and, um, you know, watching Dad play there and then, uh, you know, moving into the junior cricket and playing with guys three years older than me was, um, you know, that, that's my memories coming back into the club is, you know, th those memories of watching Dad play cricket and, and spending all my Saturdays down there is, um, you know, I'm going to hold that to my heart, um, you know, close to my heart for the rest of my life. Yeah, I, I don't, obviously don't play as much uh, anymore as I used to, but, um, you know, I've been back down playing the last few weeks and, and it's been good fun, you know, coming back to familiar surroundings that I grew up playing in and, and with guys um, that I've played with a lot, uh, you know, growing up in, in age groups and things like that. So it's, it's um, you know, it's a familiar setting and, and, and one I look forward to going back to. But, um, you know, things have changed a wee bit down there and, um, you know, there's a fair few personnel that uh, come through and, and young guys and I'm actually the oldest in the team now, which is, um, you know, at 32, I'm not, you know, when I was growing up, there was guys in their mid-30s playing, so it's, it's a little bit different now. I guess the good thing for me now being oldest in the team, I can stand a slip and not have to run and chase too many balls, but um, no, it is a lot different. I mean, you know, the, the, the fireworks and things at, at IPL and the crowd noise and, um, you know, just how crazy they are over there about their cricket and then coming back to, to play for suburbs, you know, the only thing you get is people yelling from the other field, yelling your name and that's about it. So, um, you know, it's a bit different coming back down to, to play at the grassroots level, but it's also good fun as well. Um, you know, I enjoy going back and playing for suburbs and, you know, I'll you know, try and play as much as I can, but um, obviously these days it's few and far between. Yeah, I do. I mean, the core of the guys are still there. Um, you know, the younger guys who are now the older guys in the team. You know, when I was played a few games, um, you know, they're still there and, and going strong. And um, just the, the younger guys on the side that I had to meet sort of on the morning of the game um, the other week when I came back to play. So. You know, it is still a good um, camaraderie down there and, and they enjoy playing cricket together, which is the main thing. Whew. I guess what got me going for cricket is actually, you know, spending so much time around it with Dad, um, playing down in the club and, and my older brother as well. So that's what got me into it. And, you know, growing up, uh, it was either um, Martin Crowe when I was young and then obviously Chris Cairns was great New Zealand all-rounder and, and, and then later on probably Nathan Astle, um, you know, similar player, opened the batting in, in one day cricket and always liked the way that he played the game and obviously he's kookaburra as well so it was a good fit. Probably mainly my dad and my brother. Um, we had a, a decent sized backyard growing up and we were able to get a full run up in and uh, you know have a decent length pitch and you know we used to play until the sun went down at night so that was um, you know my earliest memories of playing was probably out in the backyard and then obviously at school you know you get the Kiwi cricket sets and um, you know you set up a lunch time and, and just go for, for the length of lunch and you just come home and, and play some more backyard cricket so um, you know that, that's that's where it really went started. Probably the one I played most of my junior career with was Renew Hero. You know, under 17s, under 19s, I played a lot with Colin Munro, and now we're opening the batting together in one day cricket, which is a, a lot of fun because when he's going, it's um, you know it's pretty good to watch. So that that's good to to, to have that sort of um, you know a good friend like that from 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 juniors and, and coming into the senior team, which is great. You are with the same brand you started with. Talk us through your journey with Kookaburra. Yes, yeah, so I got. I remember. I think actually Austin Parsons took me in, in to meet Mark Matthews who back in the day, I think it was the beginning of 2004, um, my last year of school and you know, went in and uh, you know, signed a little contract there and then Jason Mills took over 
couple of years after that, and um, you know I've just been been with Cooker Bay ever since. And it's um, you know we've got a great relationship and it's quality gear, so you know I'll keep representing it, um, you know, to the best of my ability. Now, why Kahuna and not another model in the Kookaburra range? It's sort of just what I always use, really. Um, you know, back from 2004, I was using one of my dad's old bats, which was a back then it was a big Kahuna, and it was about three pound, too heavy for me, being you know quite quite a skinny uh, <laughs> skinny fella back in the day. But um, you know, I was using that, and then just sort of stuck with it, and um, just kept using it throughout the years, and you know. And, I quite quite enjoying the, the evolution of the stickers as well. I mean, you can see behind here, there's some from 2009 up until um, quite recent, so um, until the current ones, and it's um, you know you see the, the different types of um, colours and graphics that they've used. Um, I think you've been a little bit modest there too, Gup. Um, originally, Kookaburra had Ricky Ponting as the only Australian oh, yeah. player using that particular model um, in international cricket, as he was the flagship player and that was offered to Guppy as well um, back in about 2010. I think we offered him the exclusive use of the Kahuna brand. I was also using um, Kahuna stickers with his signature on it as well and I told you to get rid of it. <laughs>